Hi, my name is George Woodbury, math instructor at the College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California. And in this video, I'm going to go over how to solve rate, time, and distance problems. These problems are in one variable from my textbooks, Chapter 2. The example we'll be looking at is a train example. A freight train leaves the station at 5 a.m. and travels north at 50 miles per hour. At 6 a.m., a passenger train leaves on a parallel track and travels north at 55 miles per hour. How long will it take the passenger train to overtake the freight train? We'll begin with the table. For the freight and passenger train, I'm going to list the rate, time, and eventually the distance traveled by each. As I read through the problem, I notice that the freight train is traveling at 50 miles per hour, so I will write rate a rate of 50 for the freight train. In the same fashion, I notice the passenger train is traveling at 55 miles per hour, and I'll put 55 for its rate. We notice that the freight train leaves an hour before the passenger train, so it's traveling one hour longer. If I let the, the time for the passenger train be t, since the freight train is going one hour longer than that, we'll let that be t plus 1. Now, I also could have let the freight train be t, and the passenger train be t, would be t minus 1 for its time, because it's traveling one hour less. We multiply rate by time to get the distance traveled. So for the freight train, that's going to be 50 times the time, t plus 1. And for the passenger train, that's going to be 55 times t. Now that we have all of our information, we need to come up with an equation for this problem. And the passenger train will overtake the freight train when the two distances are the same. In other words, when the distance traveled by the freight train and the passenger train are equal. That leads us to this equation, which we can now solve for t. To solve this equation, we'll begin by distributing the 50 on the left side of the equation. Now, to collect all the variables on one side, I'll subtract 50t from both sides. And to finish solving for t, I'll divide both sides by 5. This gives me that t equals 10. And since t was the time that the passenger train was traveling, it will take 10 hours for the passenger train to catch the freight train. If you have any questions or comments on this video, please go ahead and visit the contact page at my website, georgewoodbury.com. Thanks for watching.